guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel, I feel like I've said this for the past few videos and it feels like it's been a long time since I have uploaded a video. <sighs> the last couple of weeks, <clears throat> I really only had a chance to film and put up like two or three videos. Just a lot's been going on. It's been so busy. I felt like I was starting to get sick again. I was kind of, you know, under the weather. My mother-in-law has been in town for about a week, week and a half, kind of off and on, so that's been really nice. Um, so I kind of was, when I feel like, okay, I have to film, I have to film, I start to stress myself out because um, amongst my, uh, you know, work or my job and then all the activities that go on outside of work that consume time, then it's like, oh my gosh, if I start feeling like I have to film and I have to get videos up, which I do because I like to post regular content for you guys, then I start to stress myself out and I'm like, I can't do it all. So anyways, things have kind of calmed down a little bit. I'm really excited. This is my, or I should say our first, first wedding anniversary weekend. Our wedding anniversary is tomorrow. Today is Friday the 12th, tomorrow the 13th is our first wedding anniversary so um yeah i'm really excited we've got plans from you know for the weekend for today and tomorrow and it's just gonna be nice i'm really really looking forward to it we decided not to go out of town not to splurge um because we have got disney World coming up later in the year those of you who know me know i am a disney uh i mean geek nerd whatever you want to call it so anyways after that long intro I want to come tell you that I have a review for you on the Kylie Cosmetics KKW um, lipstick set. This is the um, Kim Kardashian West collaboration with Kylie Cosmetics. It is the first time that they're introducing the cream formula. And so while I know this is not available anymore, I wouldn't have been even able to get this up for you before the restock because they literally restocked this or they launched the restock about three days after the initial launch. And mine didn't even ship out till days after the restock. So, um, and then if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I put that there was kind of like a little snafu with the um, postal service as it turns out there is a street in my area <clears throat> or there is a house in my area on a different street we share the same house number not the same street name obviously well there's times where we accidentally get their packages and this was a time I don't know if they got it or not but it wasn't in my box when it had said it was delivered I called the post office they said we'll get it corrected tomorrow and I was like but what if somebody picks up their mail today <laughs> And basically I was told, well, you just kind of have to hope they're honest people and we'll return it to you or take it to you. Anyways, long story short, the next day it was in my mailbox, so I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, but I have been able to use it quite a bit now, and so I've got some thoughts for you. Um, and like I, well, what I was initially going to say was, while it's not available anymore, I know there are some of you who want to know if it's worth paying a price on eBay for, which I have done in the past, I'm guilty of that. But in addition to that, if this is not something you were interested in or you were interested in but you don't want to purchase it now that it's no longer available, I am pretty certain now that they've launched this cream, for or cream formula with this set, I'm pretty sure we're going to see cream formulas going forward. Maybe not all the time, but from time to time. <clears throat> and I'm hoping I can give you some insight regarding the formula so that you know whether or not the formula is something you would like in a future launch. And so there have been a ton of videos already up on this and so this might not be anything new. I'm a little bit late to getting this up and I realize that but hopefully this feedback can help you out. So let's jump into that after that super long intro. Okay, first off is the packaging. So I've kind of already showed you that this is what it looks like. It slides out. You've got the four lippies in here. I have to say this is my favorite presentation, my favorite packaging of anything she's ever done. Um, this is absolutely incredible. I love the pink. I think it's really, really nice. I love these little tubes. So they come in a frosted tube and the top and the um, design is matte. It's a matte pink. It is really, really nice. I think it looks really expensive. Um, so to give you an idea, this set was 45, which I don't, if you're getting a quality product, I don't think that's a bad price. You're getting four liquid lipsticks. Um, <clears throat> but 
This is my favorite, favorite presentation, packaging, whatever, of anything she has, Kylie Cosmetics has ever released. Obviously, this is Kim's collaboration, and so it's unique to her, which we all know um, Kim loves her neutrals and her light pinks. Um, back in the day when I found out that um, she used MAC Angel, or MAC Angel was her lipstick, and then I think she used, she used one of the NARS glosses on top, Turkish Delight, I think. Anyways, that MAC Angel was, that's what I had to go get. I was like, I want that, those color lips. And I loved that, I still have uh, that lipstick to this day. I love that shade. I love the shades she uses because they're very neutral, um, but they're very, very feminine. It's just, anyways. So, <laughs> I bought this because I figured... Not that I had to have it because, ooh, it's Kim Kardashian. I just love the shades she uses. So, I am wearing one of them on my lips today. I am using the shade Kiki. And so, all four of them have different variations of her name. So, let's just go ahead and go through those. Let's swatch them, and then I'll go into formula and things like that. So, first off, I'm going to swatch Kimberly, which is, I think, the, in my opinion, the most nude of all. And so I am going to, I'm going to already tell you off the back that the cream formula, it, it takes a little bit, for me anyways, it takes a little bit of layering. Um, it's not as, it doesn't go on as pigmented right off. It can sheer out. So that is Kimberly. And like I said, that is the nude shade. And you see that kind of shine. And that's obviously because it's a cream lipstick. The next shade is going to be Kim. And this is kind of like a... I want to say this is the most pink of the bunch, and I will also tell you this, in my opinion, is the one that shears out the most. <clears throat> so it is the most, I guess, peachy pink of the, or the brightest, maybe I should say, of the collection. So it's that one right there. Next, you've got the one I'm wearing. Like I said, that's called Kiki. And, okay, so now that I've um, put this on my hand side by side, this one is the pinkest of the four. The previous one, well, I feel like the previous one is the brightest one, but it's got more peach in it than this one. Um, so this one right here is Kiki. Get you a little closer so that you can see. There you go. Now you can really see the nude in that, the peach in that, and the pink in that third one. <clears throat> and lastly, we have Kimmy. <clears throat> and this is probably the most, yeah, it's not, I don't know, sometimes I feel like, oh, it's kind of this color, that color, and then I'm like, okay, am I overthinking this by like really looking at it and wondering, okay, am I right about that? <laughs> this is, I, it's not really a mauve, it's kind of like a, brown, brownie, peachy nude. <laughs> so that is the one, like I said, in the shade Kimmy. So that is like a rosy, it, like I said, it's kind of, it's going to be the one that's the most brown peach nude. So those are the four shades side by side. You can see, like I said, they're very, very, um, they look very wet. And that's obviously because they're the cream formula. So there is good pigmentation there, obviously. So let me jump you right into my thoughts on the product because I have used all the shades. Um, <clears throat> actually, I've used a couple of them for several days because I just, again, neutrals go with so much. And I just love how these give that, these kind of shades give that pouty type of look. Okay. The cream formula is not my favorite. Um... <sighs> The Bite Beauty Amuse Bouge Lipstick, I love how hydrating that is, but one of my complaints is that it doesn't last as long on me, and I think it's just because it's so smooth and so creamy, which is a good thing, especially if you have really dry chapped lips. This kind of also is in that same boat where it's very creamy, um, it's good if you have dry chapped lips. <clears throat> my number one complaint, because it is so creamy and so, in a way, so... It's just almost, like I said, kind of shears out a little bit. It settles into all of my lip lines, especially this second shade right here, which I love the color, but it probably, the application and wear is my least favorite of the four, and that one's Kim. So it settles into, like, I put a, a first layer, 
and it settles into all my lip lines, which is not the most flattering and amazing thing. So I, I kind of let it dry for a sec and then I go in with a second layer. Now the problem with going in with a second layer is that it is so creamy that inside your lip where it's really watery, it starts really accumulating and you really do have to slide your finger through there and wipe off that excess or you'll have lipstick all over your teeth. And I've had people at work tell me you have, you have lipstick on your teeth. So embarrassing. Well, it's, it's really not once you um, get used to it, but anyways, so I love, 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 love the shade range. Not entirely crazy about the formula, so it's one of those things where I don't think I'm incredibly disappointed, but I'm also not dazzled because of the fact that in addition to loving the, the shade, I want to love the formula as well. I'm not asking for it to last all day. I don't need something like that, I've told y'all before. But I like it to at least last two or three hours and then I don't mind reapplying, but quite frankly, the true bright color pigmentation fades, I mean, not too long after you apply it. I mean, within the hour, for sure. So, like I said before, $45 is a really good price if you're gonna get something that you absolutely love. In this case, uh, I love the shade range. I'm just not as crazy about the formula. Um, if they continue to release these cream formulas, I don't know. Um, I, I hate to say I don't know if I'd pick it up. I will say I am not one to pick up every lip kit that releases. I really love picking up the things um, that stand out to me are from the Kylie Cosmetics um, line are when she releases sets like this. I feel like they're a good value, so I get the, four, the set of four. So I like picking those kind of things up, and then I like picking up her, I have a couple of her highlighters, I was dying to try those. I didn't pick up any of the blushes because a couple of the blushes came in that Valentine's Day palette, but I also love picking up her palettes. And so <clears throat> I don't pick up all of the single things that come out, I like picking up the sets. So I hope this has in some capacity helped you out. I know that was a whole lot of rambling, I feel like maybe I'm a little rusty at this review stuff since it's been like a true couple of weeks <laughs> since I've actually filmed something. Um, but I just, like I said, it's one of those, I hate giving you a meh, I'm in the middle kind of thing because it just doesn't really a lot of times help you much. But in all honesty, I'm not crazy over the moon for them. I love the shades, but I'm, and I'm also not disappointed in them. It's not like I hate it or anything. I will get good use out of them because I will, I'll put them to good use. They go with a lot of stuff. But the, the formula just, I mean, if it maybe was a little bit stickier, tackier, if they were something along the lines of the Marc Jacobs Lamarck um, liquid lipsticks, oh, that would have been heaven. That would have been so amazing because that has become, those Marc Jacobs have become one of my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. And so just a little bit of a miss on in that sense, but uh, kind of neither here nor there. Let me give you another quick look at these swatches so that you can decide for yourself if it's something that you are going to want. Let me zoom you into my lips and that way you can kind of see also um, what they look like up close. So I've applied this maybe about, I don't know, shortly before um, turning this camera on. So uh, this particular one um, did start to settle in my lips. Again, I waited a second or two and I put another layer and it really was better. Um, but here within the hour or so, this is not gonna look like this. This is gonna significantly fade. <laughs> but that's what that looks like. Definitely, like I said, moisturizing because of the formula, but you know, kinda, some people are all for this kind of formula because it's moisturizing. So um, just because it's not, entirely for me as far as the formula does not mean it's not maybe right up your alley. So hopefully that helps. I do want to give you the verse of the day. You know I have to give you the verse of the day because as much as I love makeup and I love makeup a lot, my all-time favorite thing to talk about, the one person or the one, yes, the one person that I love more than anything is is Christ. And so I love giving you the verse of the day. That is my favorite part of each and every video. So today's comes from Deuteronomy 30, 20, and it says, Love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to him, for the Lord is your life. So he is the most important thing in my life. I hope that um, if you have not found him, that it's my prayer that you do find him. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been a whole lot of rambling. <laughs> so
So apologize for that. If you have not subscribed already, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. Um, and this way you're notified of any future videos that I do post. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can find me at Michelle's Glamour. And I hope you'll consider giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.